welcome to The View from the EBRD. We are in Jordan at the Dead Sea and finance ministers, central bank governors have been meeting here. One of the finance ministers is here with me. It's Vilius Shapoka of Lithuania. Thanks very much for making it. Hello, everyone. Um, I wanted to talk to you about Lithuania's economic growth. It's been strong last year. It has been around 4%. Um, how are you planning to sustain a growth level like this? Yeah, we are going to preserve uh, the economic growth and uh, we have a very clear plan how to do this. Uh, well, last year, the economy was mainly driven by uh, the uh, growth of exports. And this year, the growth will be more balanced uh, with three main sources, internal demand, uh, investments uh, and, of course, exports. And talking about uh, uh, investments, uh, just recently the government uh, in Lithuania introduced the best package at EU level for investments into innovations and new technologies. So now this is the main driver of our economy. You're mentioning investments here. Um, obviously we've got EU funds, as you say. Um, EU fund absorption wasn't that great just recently in Lithuania. What's your expectation going forward? What kind of level are you targeting? Yeah, so uh, talk, talking about EU investments, of course, we, uh, we had to learn lessons from the past. And now we changed the way how we invest and, uh, and not absorb. And uh, so the main idea is that uh, we should... Uh, uh, invest with the highest return possible. I mean, not just economic, but also social uh, rewards for our society. So this is why it took time to prepare. But this year, uh, the growth rate will be f far bigger than uh, used to be. And uh, we've mentioned the strong growth um, and uh, Standard & Poor's, one of the rating agencies, having uh, just recently upgraded uh, Lithuania, um, showing that obviously things are working well. Um, they have mentioned, however, that they think the demographics are one of the issues that need to be looked into, need to be tackled maybe more. Um, what's your plan going forward there? Yeah, I'm quite optimistic about Lithuania's future because we have already faced uh, uh, one tendency of uh, emigration 100 years ago. And now the uh, dynamics is also changing and more and more people are coming back uh, from other countries. And uh, uh, to facilitate that process, uh, we have prepared six reforms. So uh, uh, tax reform, uh, healthcare system reform, educational reform, innovations uh, reform and others. So I think uh, there are a lot of signals uh, for uh, Lithuanians to come back, live in Lithuania and raise kids here. Would you also encourage additional immigration? Uh, so talking about uh, about immigration, uh, uh, this process also has started and uh, mainly very qualified staff. And uh, talking about uh, uh, fintech, for example, there are a lot of companies going uh, to Lithuania and uh, is establish their offices and uh, uh, provide services across the globe. So uh, I even uh, during this week, I received a lot of questions about how uh, to establish the office in Lithuania. So I decided to sign a letter for almost uh, each fintech company in, in the world and invite to establish uh, and be present in Lithuania. Excellent. Well, um, one thing to ask as well is we've seen that in the Social Democratic Party, which is part of part of the government, they, they have split up and part of the party has, quite, has basically left the government. Has that had an impact? Is it having an impact on political stability on, on government? Yeah, I would say uh, it, it had a positive impact because now uh, the coalition is more united and more... Uh, goal-oriented, and uh, I think it is a plus, not a minus. Minister, thank you very much. Thank you.